So we're with the uh, president of the Cadillac Kings, I yeah. guess, right? Yes. You want to tell me a little bit about your club and um, what you guys do? Oh, well, basically we all share a common love for old school Cadillacs. We keep it uh, 1975 and below. There is Cadillac Kings chapters worldwide, and there's a ton of them all over Southern California. Just a group of like-minded individuals like to get together and talk about our cars and talk about family, very family-oriented club. And uh, each chapter every year is responsible for putting on an all-chapters barbecue that all the chapters you know, all over the United States are invited to. And that's what we're doing here today in Lancaster, California. We're representing our Antelope Valley chapter. And uh, everyone's out having a good time, had some good food, some good company with all of our fellow Cadillac Kings. And, and so, uh, how, I'm sorry I interrupted you. How big is your club and how far out do you reach Our, to? our chapter goes all the way from San Fernando as north as Tehachapi. Okay. And about how many members do you think you have in your club? Uh, in this chapter, we have about 17. Okay. Uh, is there a reason why there's that cutoff date of 1975 for the... I think the common interest in, in Cadillacs in general is the you know, traditional, real long boat style. Uh, the 1975 and below body styles are a little bit more unique. They have a little bit more of the old school flair to them, which I think is everyone just a really big fan of in general. All Cadillacs are nice. The way we kind of look at it is, you know, the older the better with the old LaSalle's and even back into, you know, the 20s, 30s, 40s and that kind of stuff. Okay. But uh, we definitely like the older ones around the club. Okay. Any 